Welcome back to The Late Show. Folks, my next guest is Emmy-nominated for her work on SNL this season, where she has played everyone from Miley Cyrus to Jacob the Bar Mitzvah Boy. Please welcome Vanessa Bear. It's so nice to see you, too. We, we will explain to the people in just a moment why this is the second time we've met. Yes, the first this is time the was 13 time. years ago. Yes. More on that in just a moment. Yes. First of all, congratulations on your Emmy nomination. Thank you so That's much. That's so exciting. Yeah. That's nice. That's nice. Remember the first yes. time that happened. Yeah. So, um, where were you when you found out? Like, did you remember that it was coming around? I, I sort of had forgotten about it, and then I was leaving my Pilates class. As which, you do. Yeah, just like a little brag. Like, I do Pilates, who cares? Um, <laughs> And I was leaving, and I my phone started blowing up, and I was getting these texts from A.D. Bryant that were like, oh, my God, this is so exciting. And I guess her agent knew that we're, like, A.D. and I are friends since, like, we from Chicago and everything, since mm -hmm. before either of us was on SNL. And I guess her agent saw that I was nominated and knew that A.D. would be so excited and texted A.D., and then A.D. texted me. And I, I and then I was like, why is my phone? And then, and then I was like, oh, was I nominated for an Emmy? And I started like, I was like, oh my gosh. And then my Pilates teacher was in the bathroom and I waited outside the bathroom for her to come out so that I could tell her that I thought maybe I was nominated. And then we went on my phone and tried to look it up. And it seems like a very simple thing to Google, like Vanessa Bayer, I mean, but like we couldn't, we were like, how do you, how do you use a phone? Like we couldn't figure it out. <laughs> And then we, saw, we were so excited, yeah. Wow, yeah. that's great. Well, I'll see you out there. I'm hosting the show. Yes, yes, we'll that's so time. great. Yeah. Fun. Now, <laughs> um, uh, now, let's explain to the people how we know each other. Okay, um, okay. Uh, I, if you'll forgive me, I had to be reminded that we had met each other before. Oh, it's fun. It's okay, really fun. So tell the people what happened. Okay, here. so here's what happened. So um, I was a senior in college, and there was this comedy festival that the male comedy troupe, we call them troops, that's very dorky, but that the male comedy troupe put on. And so Stephen hosted this event. And so I got to go to the after party because I was kind of like in with the comedy crowd at University of Pennsylvania. Very cool. Mm. Uh, we all 2000, went, we, 2004? 2004. Right, yes. I was still at The Daily Show. Yes, yeah. Yeah, and you were still at The Daily Show. And I, I met you and I told you that I was about to move to Chicago to pursue comedy. Oh, great. And you were so nice to me. And you, and this is what I truly cannot believe is you, you told me to take uh, classes from this guy, Mick Napier, which was so nice and everything. And and you were like, if you forget any of this or you need any more information, here's my email. And you gave me your email, which I would never, <laughs> like, I consider myself pretty nice, but like to be giving out your email to some college kid, like, okay, but um, really I, I am a very- Really sounds creepy now that you describe <laughs> it that way. Really sounds I mean, creepy. What if I gave it to my friend? You know what I mean? Like, I just, it was so nice of you to give me your email. No one's ever abused it. I do that all the time. No one's ever abused it. I just, I, I feel like, you know, I, I would never do that, but. Well, here's the not nice yes, part. Tell yes. them the not well, nice the part. Well, the not nice part is that I, I did email you and I said, I, you know, I, I yeah. You actually, well, we actually, I, you actually have it right yeah, here. Yeah. Can you, would you mind? Uh, do it, just oh, read just it. Okay, okay, it. okay, okay. Okay, dear Stephen. Really great seeing you at ComFest. I'm sorry my all-female sketch comedy and musical parody troupe Bloomers did not get to perform. <laughs> As we had just finished writing our newest review, Bloomers of the Caribbean, which is pirate-themed. <laughs> Thanks so much for talking to me about moving to Chicago to pursue comedy. I looked up the teacher you highly recommended, Mick Napier, and it looks like he's teaching at some place called The Annoyance now, just FYI. This is funny because once I moved to Chicago, I realized that McNapier is like such a famous teacher and the annoyance is his theater, but I thought I was like giving Stephen like inside scoop. <laughs> okay, anyway, thanks again and have a great summer, Vanessa. P.S. You should check out a Bloomer show sometime. Even though I'm graduating, I bet I could still get your name on the comp list. The sweet, I never wrote you back. Yeah, and you, you did not. I never wrote you back, so I'm going to do, do, yeah, do, yeah, do it right me. now. I'm do it right now. Okay. Uh, hi, <laughs> Vanessa. Thanks so much for writing Aww. 
why don't we just meet up at the Ed Sullivan Theater <laughs> in 13 years? Good luck in Chicago. Oh, that's so nice. Here's my personal phone number. <laughs> Steven. That's so nice of you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, okay. Good luck at the Emmy. Thank you so much. I'll see you there. Vanessa Bear, everybody. We'll be right back.